Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be speaking on bypassing web application firewalls or firewalls as a whole. If you have a site like, for an example, infosecpat.com, and if I have a web application firewall in front of it, what is the real server that it's sitting on? It might not be when you ping it the real one. It might be pinging the web application firewall. So in this video, I wanna show you guys how to bypass that or at least enumerate so you can get to that real site. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. We're almost at that 100K, so let's keep going and uh, see you guys on the flip side. Let's get into it. Okay, guys, so the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I was on a previous engagement or previous project that I was working on and this was an issue. So I figured I'd demonstrate how to get around this situation. And if you guys have a, you know, a way to do that, that differs from what I want to show, put it in the comments and I'm all about learning. So I just went to hackerone.com and for an example, Streak, I went to Lowe's, I just went to a few you know, sites, right? A, a few, yeah, domains. So let's just go, for example, for the first one here, we have streak.com. And if we come down here, the scope, just to make sure, it, you know, obviously this program is no longer existing. And I just, you know, Google search something that we can test on. So scope, I mean, excuse me, uh, streak.com. And then we're going to use lows.com if we have enough time. I don't want to, you know, do it for that long. I don't want this video to be too long. So what we can see is, for an example, streak.com, right? So let me go ahead and ping this. I can dub, 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 streak.com, whatever it is. Let's uh, go ahead and just do ping streak.com, right? So streak.com is coming up as this IP address. So let me kill that. And let me go ahead and take out the, so it's two different sites, you see that? And that's the reason why I put it that's why that's the reason why I put dub 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 and then without the subdomain, right? So we can see here there's two different IP addresses, right? So now let's go to this website. Let's go for example, let's just go uh, open up a new tab, paste that here. And this is the site, right? So it's we can go to dub and it redirects you to streak.com. Perfect. So this is let me make this larger. So this is the site. I don't know really what this is. I guess it's a uh, manager partners from Gmail. Cool. So now if we just, let's go back to our command shell real quick and let's uh, let's do NS lookup, right? Let's do NS lookup to streak.com. Let's just stick with streak.com right now. Okay, let me make this a little larger so you guys can see. All right, perfect. So with this, we have all these IP addresses, right? So we have 172.67.75.234 and so many others, right? So if we go on, on the internet, we can copy this or we can copy the domain. Let's go back here. Not that shit. I have to update this too. I'll probably do that later. All right. So let's come back here. So that we're going to do lows later if we have time. So the first tool I want to show you guys is uh, Security Tales by Recorded Future. So let me go ahead and paste this in. Oh, I didn't want that. I wanted the uh, domain. So it's streak.com. So streak.com is behind Cloudflare. So that's the reason why it's it's behind a web application firewall. It's, it's proxying. It's, this is not the real address to this, right? This is just in front of a Cloudflare. So the next thing we can do is go over to, to census. So let's do the same thing here, right? Let's go to streak.com. It's a really, really quick video, I, I hope. I don't want, uh, let me stop talking so I can spell this correctly. So streak.com. So now we see it's Google. See that? So obviously I have an account, you know, so you can just create an account. It's super easy, super quick. So now you can see that we are getting to different IP addresses, right? So now let me go ahead and just take this IP. Oh, let's take this IP, copy this, and just try to go to that site. And there you go. 
right? So that IP address is the actual web server that is hosting street.com. So it's pretty simple. And I just wanted to showcase this because I thought it was really, really informative and, uh, and useful. You know, some people may think they're going to one site and the web server is one thing, but it's total not it, right? Totally not it. So you can see like Google Cloud Platform, Amazon. So you can see here, obviously you can go through, you know, everything here. And let's do the same thing really quick for Lowe's.com, right? So let's just copy this really quick. Let's go to Lowe's, right? And let me copy that. So let me come back here really quick. So the number one thing, if you're using or if you're trying to utilize any of these Hacker One sites, go to the scope. I already did this and I can see what's in scope. So in scope, you can see like everything in scope coverage and Lowe's.com is in scope. So I can, you know, do stuff with that. Just make sure you're not attacking or scanning or doing anything without permission, right? So let's go ahead and do the same process. Let's go back here. Let's uh, ping, whoops, ping Lowe's.com. I'm just gonna do Lowe's.com. I'm not gonna do dub, 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 right? So we can see here, it's going through uh, deploy.static, Akamai technologies, etc. right? So now let's just, for shits and giggles, let's just do www, right? And we can see it's pointing to the same one. Cool, so the A record is the same. So now let's do the same thing. Let's do the same process. Let's come over to uh, security security trails and just do lows.com. Okay. And 103, I believe that's the same one, is it? Um, no, it's not. So this is a total, or is it 193? No, so it's not. So what we can do now, we can s still go further. And this is just obviously demonstration and uh, just, you know, you can do more more searches on your own. So let's just go to Lowe's. Because Lowe's is huge, right? So, and we can say, okay, this is pointing to something else. 168.244, 166, 162 api and let's just you know we can go down here maybe it's akamai we can see akamai we can see google cloud platform we can see all this stuff you know maybe this is a bad example but you guys can get the gist so let me just go to this first ip address let's just copy this really quick and let's just throw that in here and see if it brings us to lows no okay fair enough so you guys get the gist. You can go down the list. Let's just do one more, just for uh, see if that, where does that point to? Nothing, but it doesn't really matter, but you guys get the gist. So if you guys are on an engagement and you're trying to do a end map scan, if you're trying to do firewall bypass or whatever, and there's a web application firewall in place, this is how you can try to get around that or get some information on the actual web server. So in this case with uh, streak.com, right, we can, you know, as a pen tester or whatever, doing an external assessment, now we can take that documentation, put it into our, you know, form or whatever we're trying to document and trace or track our uh, steps for documentation and then just throw that and uh, yeah, and just keep going through your process. So this is a way to pretty much bypass web application firewalls or bypass a firewall as a whole. So hopefully this was informative. I just wanted to make it quick, simple, and straight to the point. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments below, and I will see you guys on the flip side. Thank you.